Hey everyone, Miasdi here, welcome back. Today we're just gonna do a fun team run going into the catacombs, maybe fighting the Flayed, maybe not, we'll see. I know that a while back it was requested, or suggested rather, and then a few people have requested it. I did a build with a party that had a bounty hunter that had a Zazel in it that was also spamming the Caltrops. So I thought that I would do that. And I've been kind of trying to figure out how to do a build that would best do that. And I think I've landed on something that sounds really fun. So just to kind of go over it, our bounty hunter obviously has a Zazel, but we also have the Twilight Incense. So as long as our bounty hunter and anyone else is blighted, which the Twilight Incense will automatically blight us at the beginning of the place, we will have an additional 8% crit. On top of that, I have the Houndmaster with the Zazel, so he can spam Hound's Harry, which will also pick that pretty often. And we have Eclipse, so we'll be scouting more often. I am going to keep the torches lit, but that will also keep us from having a nighttime ambush. So we won't have to waste anything with the camping points there. I will also be having a Vestal here just healing and doing all that jazz. You'll notice that the three of them are not religious, and I have the Twilight Razor. So on combat start, buff party, plus 10% damage and another 3% crit, if not religious. So adding to the fact that Azazel has better crit on them now. Uh, Dial is religious, but I was thinking for this group, that I would just throw that mask that I've been getting from the Flayed onto him and see what happens. So uh, we're, we're gonna test that. And then of course we have Dial, our local madman. And since I don't have enough Azazels now, we're gonna be throwing the seismic sensor on him and Blood Feaster because since we're gonna have bleeding people, plus 15% damage and 5% crit versus bleeding. And because we have the seismic sensor, we're going to be doing tremors, we're going to be doing menace, savagery, and meme. Sounds like it might be fun. We're going to see how it works. I did want to go to the medium just so we could do at least one camp, so we'll see how that works. Let's get to it. Uh, did anyone here have cool fever? No. So we don't have to plan for that, so I'm just going to take two stacks of food. Stack of shovels. Might need the anti-venoms now just in case and also bandages. Just because we're going in at the flayed, we're gonna want the honing oils. Actually flayed, more bandages. <laughs> um, also the cleansing salts, just because of what she can do. Alum sensors. Uh, I said I wanted a truth bearer. And then we're gonna want more torches. And I suppose we're gonna want ginseng powders as a just-in-case, and some disease kits. We'll go with that because, once again, this is one of those ones where I don't really care about the loot too much, but we'll see what happens. And here she is. Armored footsteps right. in the distance. Silence. Let's get this party started. Right away, starting off getting some dune flowers. That'll be good. Dune lily. Extra crit, extra accuracy, extra debuff and mark resistance. That's going to be really handy. Let's go all the way to the left. Um, stew. Stress, yeah, stress. And before I forget, on dial. It is all a lie, says your local madman. Oh, uh, ooh. I think we can trade you a hoarding oil. Be gentle. Take the Possible emerald. Postal. Don't think we can take the gold. Are precious. That's fine. Move down to Curio. They can eat. More than our enemies will attempt to impede us. Right, I'm gonna leave this here just so we can use it as a recovery. Same with that. Alright. Uh 
let's get this party started, get them bleeding. Minus 8 speed, plus 10% damage taken. We're gonna do the Lick Wounds to counteract the Blight on him. Now, ever since I made that short, I can't unsee the fact that I don't think any of them wear pants. We have one wearing probably a kilt. No pants, no pants. And, I mean, is that technically a dress? Is that a robe? And very long boots? I don't think any of them are technically wearing pants. All right, judgment, let's get thrall. And we're gonna do menace, get their dodge down. Now, thankfully, the grunt didn't guard anyone. So, I want to see this for a second. 18 to 33, nah, we'll hound rush. Or Harry. We didn't get a proc from a crit, but we did get a lot of bleeds, and now we'll do Keltrops again. That's a lot of bleed, 14, 14. We will stun the champion, so no cave, or chest caver. Then we have you, who has the repost up, so we'll do tremors, hitting the Rakshasa, because I don't like that stress. And I don't think he can do sworn duty again, so he has to do solid advance, or repositioning swing. And they can have a punch fest. All right. Let's heal up. I was really hoping I would have a crit by now. <laughs> I know it's very, very early in, but we're doing a lot of bleed though, I'll give it that. Uh, 20 and 21, so Rakshasa almost goes down. In fact, we can take the Rakshasa down before it evolves or transforms. Their mage goes down. Grunt might go down. Do that. Agonizing death, slow and measured. Lick wounds to heal up. Divine Grace to heal up. We'll get the champion down on our turn. That's fine. Another one down. Now, I recall seeing something when I looked something up. I want to see what happens if I leave the grunt alive. Janitor. Okay. I'm trying to give him a turn. AoE heal. Nope. Okay. I don't know if I have to get him lower on health, or if this just isn't the thing. But I remember... I, I, I did look up the one thing I remember not seeing or that I had saw on another channel. Another skirmish. And, uh... Step forward. There's very specific enemies that this happens with, so I'm not sure who in the Levantine it is. I only know who in the... Wildlanders it is, so I probably will do a video on that 
I don't really want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it. So that's why I'm not kind of mentioning it by name. <laughs> um, who do I want a judgment? If we do the pursuer, he'll probably do the eagle mark or eagle eye, and I think that counts as an attack. Never remember. But yeah, there's like one thing left that like I haven't actually seen in this playthrough. And it's a random chance thing that happens on champion. Um runs and it actually can happen on any area so it's kind of interesting that that's a thing it's just uh very enemy specific like can only happen to i believe one of each of the uh, faction enemies so like i'm not sure if it's grunt or sniper or what it is for the levantine and i know which Wildlander is. I'm not sure which Trogdolite it is, and I'm not sure what it is in the... Oh, there we got a crit with that. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah, that... That'll rip them apart, alright. Uh, we'll heal up. And I'm not sure what enemy is in the treasury, because there's a lot of enemies in the treasury. So, I might go looking for that at some point. Um, yeah, he kind of tore himself apart there, didn't he? He goes, the Pursuer goes down on next. We must act. There's half our health on our crawl. Good thing he can take a punch. We might be able to get the champion. Conversely. Kirbrasahedron? No, that was wrong. <laughs> Gotta heal the thrall. Keep him alive. Hell drops. Thrives into the ground. Well, I think they got one in the head. Uh, if we hound Harry, we might get the sniper. Conversely, um, if we just did that, we'd probably get the sniper. The sewer goes no matter what. Sniper hasn't drawn anything yet, so it can wait. Let's get the champion. The champion has 14 bleed. Wow. I think he's happy with his death. Now we just gotta get the sniper before he throws that arrow. Which, 16 speed. Gotta double check this here. Only person that'll probably go. You know, I'll take that chance. I was thinking the Vestal would go. And then we can stun. Against the light, our foes will fall. That's a very powerful hook. The body's weaknesses are exploited. Alright, take the money. No. Well, we can take the torch. Take the honing oil. Honestly, I should fire wood. Rest. We will need and your eat until full. I prevent all nighttime ambushes. Nothing she's gonna do matters. Plus accuracy and crit from this is how we do it. Then do, do, do. I mean scouting chance might be nice. I'd really like to do punching bag. I just don't want anyone to be hurt from that. 
conversely, what I could do is punching bag into wound cure, and then do a few other things. So let's try that. And then wound care, and then therapy dogs. Actually, man's best friend, and then we can get dog treats. Well, let's heal the thrall for a bit. And then up our scouting chance, just so we know what's coming. And up the speed of the bounty hunter. I'll leave it for now. It's a directory. Still don't know what's in that last room. Alright. I'm gonna go up there just to uh, de stress the Hound Master. Minus stress received, and minus stress received. Go. So there is a room battle there. We're gonna have to go there eventually. Well, I'm wondering if it might be more worthwhile to go all the way around and then end there. We'll try that. Ah, we'll hit this too. I don't feel like I have enough torch or uh, shovels, actually. We'll leave it. You never know. This, however. Let's see what's in it. Pop the torch. Will not impede us. We are the flame. Take the Ladonum. Ladonum? Ladonum. I'm trying. I'm trying, I swear. Ladonum. And leave the rest. Right, what's here? Don't have a key. Doesn't matter if I don't have a key. Uh, who has something bad? Dissenter, infirm, skeptic. Let's try to get in. Or doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Not that I intend on using the virtue chance, but and then we'll heal up with this. Crit heal. Wow. Okay. Ranged damage. Yeah, we'll go on Houndmaster. De-stress. Torch. Pop this. Okay, that helps out. Now we know. Directory? No. Okay. This could be interesting. Eltrops. Bleeding. Lick wounds. Heal up. Let's do judgment on you. That way you'll get a double dose. And we'll see what all they do. I thought he would do one of his mark things. Oh well. All right, Menace. Do Hounds Harry get the bleed? Got two crits there. Very nice. And 13, so if we do Caltrops, back row goes down. Heal up. Okay, 
not horrible. I think I want the... We can't get the missionary because of the guards. So instead, let's get the deadbolt. Okay. Once the blood flows, the end has begun. I uh, will just heal him up. Oh, that didn't get rid of the blight like I thought it would. Good to know. Kind of works like the flagellants. Then. I know he has a high protection right now, but... Oh, we can get the missionary. We'll do that. Then crit. Azazel. He's almost down. And Thrall gets to do punching bag. We won't stun him, but we can let Gwons heal up. Help everyone off. He really does not like our Hound Master. Your ground. Well, finish him. Not that it did exactly what I wanted. Their hound master is gonna be at We press on some health at least. I uh, will take the gems, I suppose. The second I get rid of the disease kits, I'm gonna need them. The second I get rid of anything, I'm gonna need them. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll leave the onyx. And that heals us up a bit. We follow the ever guiding light. I don't need Amber. Of course you did that. What's the debuff? 20% damage. We can get rid of that, right? Good thing the Houndmaster de-stressed a bit. Hopefully it's a directory. I was actually hoping this wouldn't be her. Once more. But we can make do. Okay, Alum Sensor. And I can't do Keltrops. Interesting. Oh, uh, what has higher accuracy here? Yeah. Me is a 50 50. Um, I. Absolutely need to heal, don't I? But she's also going to attack for a bit, so yeah, we'll do judgment. Cause that'll get some heals off. I should have done an elm sensor there too. Um then 28 accuracy. No thank you. Uh we'll lick wounds on you for this turn. Also I should forge. Then contemplating getting that off of him, but then he loses a bunch of damage and such. Lick wounds for now. I'm hoping. Oh, the thrall didn't actually go before the blade. It's a debuff. Okay. Off of that, Alum Sensor. Then you're going to menace so that you're marked. Hopefully, she goes at you the most. 
Okay, that's what causes the bleed, if I remember right. Okay. Well, we got a good chunk, and that was only prep round. Owie. Okay, warning oil. So we can go through her protection. There we go. Dog treat, honing oil. Not gonna stun her, so hound rush. Holy. This is the other person we needed the alum sensor on. I really like to get heals on both the Houndmaster and the Thrall, so since I'm not going to stun her, XP is probably going to do absolute junk, right? Yeah, Divine Comfort. Uh, I was going to do Savagery, but I'll just do this. We're, we're making good time on her. I think that's the end of our regain, but... Finish him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's one that, if he was moved back, wouldn't matter horribly. We do need to heal up. Uh, we'll do the Horning Oil again. Oh, if that would have hit, that would have ended this. Right, finish. Oh boy. Well, that stressed us out a little bit. That got me my truth breakers back. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I feel like I should get that off of them. And that was half the reason I brought the anti venom. Take what I can. Gonna trade. Honestly, bandage out for that now that I know she's gone. Not much I can do for this dress now. Why is this only a pot of three? This makes me a little worried. Get the pursuer down first. If we judgment, he'll heal us. And then we can heal next turn. Lick wounds because that's what we can do. chances of hitting. Not great, huh? Oh, ignore prep round. Um, we might be able to get him in row one or two, which would totally screw him up. 89% in that missed. Interesting. Well, we'll do this instead. Is that still a pull? Now he has to do his attack that does the back. We'll do Hound Harry. 
Oh, that's some bad luck. Heal everyone. I think he has to do it again next turn. on the grunt. Pin it. Wow. Well, we can still maybe get the gin. Eat everyone. Grunt goes down on his turn. Pursuer will go down on his next turn. Are we blood? No. high-end hit takes out the Rakshasa. There we go. Now it's just up to the grunt. Of course we're healing. And Dial is ferocious. Lovely. Stressed. Disturbed. <laughs> I am blinded with rage. Raw. Yell at the man who is dying. I just want to see him bleed out. Vein, a drop of venom. Death does not regard the method. Oh. Ooh, Firewalker. A third mage, Firewalker is gonna get a lot more health. Okay. So plan is cow chops these guys, get them bleeding. AoE heal again, because we're gonna to need to keep on top of that. Figured that was gonna to start to be a thing. We're gonna menace to get the attack back. Not that we're gonna be able to on the firewalker and lick wounds to start healing. Repressurize. I'm hoping to get the Thur Mage before he ups the health. Or, okay. He did resculpt the flesh, but not on the one I was worried about. But that could be a thing on its own. So, we'll see. Dog feet. Count Harry. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this, so... Their mage is almost going down. Uh, if we do Judgment, she's gonna do Interlude, most likely. And they're gonna do Interlude. Put it on the Firewalker, because all he's gonna do is the Blaze, but that's fine. Uh, then Horning Oil. And of course we miss. Well, that's a heck of a attack back. Alright, well, Horning Oil. And collect will do more. Not sure how that big guy can dodge like that. Kinda worrisome. Or is Dial just that inaccurate right now? Either way. There's our last honing oil. And how can the dog's teeth go through metal like that? I think that's a little more worrisome to me. If it can bite through steel plate. I don't want to 
make that dog angry. Another obstacle is clear from our path. All right, gold. Actually, I don't think I've seen that fortified buckler before. I am gonna camp here. Take that. Look out for one another. We're gonna feast for the stress. I'm gonna give Dial a bit more food, and we're gonna take the onyx. Um, I've scouted everything, so from here it's just healing and whatnot. So what we're gonna do? It's man's best friend. Therapy dog. I'm gonna do Dominus just to heal his stress. This is how we do it. I'm gonna pray for stress. And punching bag so he does more damage. And then after that, we can do tracking for speed or chain the beast and everyone else gets a little more stress relief. That might be better. That spreads things out a little bit. Our path okay. is revealed. March so we're going to go up. We have one more room battle with the Curio. And two battles, essentially. I can go to the third battle if need be. So I'm a little surprised about something. Uh, Golem, this will give me... Won't give me protection. Um, I can do this. I am sure. Oh, that's just Mata. Okay. Shovel. Our cause. Take what I can. But to require <laughs> Really? Okay. Light up. Hell drops. Get them bleeding. This fight again, essentially. Only a little bit easier because of the pursuer, I think, personally. Uh, yeah, we'll just lick wounds. Judgment the Firewalker. Maybe we'll have some luck again. Ducky treat. Mount Harry. Oh, we got the crit on the Firewalker. That's always good. AoE heal. Keep everyone topped up. Hell traps. We want them going down. <laughs> Only a small heal. Doesn't get rid of the bleed, so I'm happy with that. For now, we will go at the Firewalker and maim him. Yep. on you. Have fun with Hound Harry again. He <laughs> takes two out. Nice. And then Maim. 37 damage. He has 12 bleed. We finish him. We take him out. Quite literally finishing him. <laughs> Oh boy, that was a bad one. Alright, take what we can. Trade the shovels for the amber dust, because I don't need them. <laughs> really, there wasn't a sarcophagus in here. And 
tempted to go to that last fight just to see if there is. See what kind of shape I'm in. We'll see what kind of shape I'm in. Dial may uh, make things a little bad. Lick wounds. Getting rid of that bleed. Oh, that's why I'm not getting rid of that stuff. I'm so used to having the Tome of Cleansing on her as my second trinket. I'm like used to the thing getting rid of blight and bleed. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What's the debuff? Minus accuracy, we're getting rid of that. And Keltrops. Oh, wow. Okay, he's still up. We're good. Look, wounds on cooldown, that's fine, but we are gonna dog treat again and we're gonna hound Harry. There's their bleed. Top everyone up. Yeah, that's fine. Maim the Rakshasa. He should bleed out. Oh no, he only has four. Shoot. Must recover. Oh no. Great. They cling to life. Dial, you're fine. Hound Terry. Rakshasa goes down. Commander goes down. We're gonna collect on the champion. Good thing our Houndmaster doesn't have a turn. We can't Divine Comfort. Okay. Well, he'll dial since he has a turn. That could have ended very badly. But because of that, we can heal the Houndmaster. And once again, we'll see what kind of shape we're in. If we can. Uh, I use all my torches, take that. Anti-venom, bandage, anti-venom, anti-venom. That's for the heals. Uh, just for the shits and gigglies, ginseng powder. Using all the food. Damage taken, damage taken. We'll get rid of those as well. Okay, then I can't remember exactly what buff that gives me. Symptom resistance, okay. Just so we have a slightly better time at this, because I want to see if I can't get the sarcophagus. Now that we got the appraiser, I suppose that's something. The grunts are going to block both of them, though. Eat them. Wow, not even the bleed went off. Okay. Lick wounds. That's amazing. Menace. That way, maybe they'll go at dial. It's gonna be harder to control, but that's fine. Count Harry will at least hit everyone. Especially her because she's going stealth. 
Uh, same with... Oh no, Keltraps will still hit just those two. But they're blood. So Dial does more to them. Uh, we're going to... Actually... Guarded by rank 1. So we're going to stun him. Try to. Hound Harry. Got a crit. That'll help tearing them apart. They're bleeding for a bunch. I think that gets rid of the bleed. No, that just ups his max health. Okay. What is his problem with the Hound Master? I meme. He bleeds out. No longer guarded, but we still have to get her out of stealth. That cures the bleed. Bandage. Hound here. Now he's not gonna bleed out because. All his other bleeds got cured. These other two hurting. Um, let's top up. Just be safe. She can summon more. Not anymore. Finish him. And I mean, I was going to Tremors, but that works. Hound Rush. I think the dog ate well. Okay. Well, I mean, we didn't find the sarcophagus. There's no more fights in here, so unless I, like, reset fights, we're not finding them. That's fine. The Vizier soldiers will march elsewhere for That was fun. I finally made the Keltrops build kind of work better. Because <laughs> I want, I've been trying to make it work with Azazel for a while, and every time I've gotten into somewhere, it's on champion, it's at least failed. On lower levels, it's worked, but not, not on champion for some reason. Dial got precise striker because his melee needs to be even better. Oh, geez. Dial, your local madman. Crushing skulls at every corner. Oh, late shipment. All right. A bit spoiled or well, that was fun. Do as we always Don't know have. why I'm checking the forge. One of the oddities. Ah, uh, nothing there. And no one I want to get there. All right. So... I wanted to do one in the treasury next time trying to blight some enemies because I have a plan for that and the fact that the flayed is there is going to make it even more fun. I don't know how that works out, but we'll find out. That'll be it for this time. As always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.